I think the most interesting part about this war is not really about the war against Clayman necessarily. It's about Father Midray and his notion that he can apparently compete with Demon Lord Milim. And I, when I read that, I was like, no shot. You're capping. I don't remember this from the first time watching. This dude literally said he can contest one of the strongest beings in this verse. And you know what? He might be right. Y'all aren't even saying like, I don't know, man, maybe he could do it. And then there comes, you know, Benny Maru. You know, Hellflare looks great, right? And then he comes to Midray and they're about to kind of like quote unquote fight. God damn, they teased us with that. Benny himself said that he'd probably lose, right? Midray's pretty humble saying, oh, if I got hit by that Hellflare, I'd probably die. But could he hit him with the Hellflare? And then on the other topic, the clowns. Footman and Tear, they just body Phobio and Geld and fucking leave. And Geld took an L because of Phobio. Fuck Phobio. Phobio himself said that, you know, oh, it's, I'm holding you back. Yeah, you are holding us back. I love Footman and Tear, though. They're so fun. Now, I think today's episode is going to be a Shuna-centric episode. They've been hyping up this being called Adarman, the index finger, right? Let's begin today's reaction. New drip! <laughs> that... That fucking Ranga voice actor, the tail wag and the panting is crazy. <laughs> the biggest meat riders, the worst Diablo at. <laughs> Look at that tail go. Look at that tail move, bro. Alright, good luck, Shuna. Veldora and Ramirez, they're just weebing out, huh? <laughs> I mean, what's Veldora gonna do? He's like pretty much like, you know, benched right now. He's a secret weapon. What's he, wa what's he reading? What is, Vel what is Veldora reading, you think? You think he's reading some shoujo shit? I don't know. What do you think Veldora would be into? Did they ever disclose in the light novel? He's reading Danmachi? <laughs> we can see the titles? No way. Really? Wait, wait, let's see the cover. Let's see the cover. Hmm, well, I can't fucking read Japanese, bro. It's fucking random anime girls on the screen, right? I don't know. What is the top right supposed to be? I don't know what these, you know, characters... Is, is this just Shonen Jump? If this is Shonen Jump cover, then it's like, okay, it's probably just like, it's obviously Shonen series, but who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Female vampire demon lord! Okay! Ten demon lords in total. We know six of them, four of them. Who gives a fuck? That's Veldra thinks they're noobs. But the female vampire demon lord, which is basically the soul has been extracted and planted into that homunculi, right? That, uh... What was it? Yuki, the guildmaster had, right? That was it. That was it. Two or three millennia ago, I did fight a female vampire demon. And she's back. She's back. Wait. No, 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 no. Laplace said that, why are you a girl now? Implying it was a male, right? That's different. That's different. The different, different demon lord. The one, yeah, exactly. I remember because Laplace made a funny point. It's like, oh shit, you got an elf body? No, goddamn, you looking real nice now. That was Kazarin, different demon lord. There's a female vampire demon lord though. Church related? Is she still around? <laughs> couldn't take a joke. Oh, she couldn't take a joke. I burned down their city. <laughs> they got all mad. Just a prank, bro. Just I just burned down your village. Just a prank, bro. Why, why are you mad? Why, why are you mad, huh? Veldra, that's kind of fucked up. Slightly bad. Lu luminous, lu lu luminous. Luminous, luminous. Luminous. Design matches. Design matches. Luminous. So, the god emperor, lord, or whatever, the leader of the holy church, Luminous, is the person that Hinata worships, right? Luminous. But female vampire demon lord. Okay. What did she say? What did he say? She... I was not taking it seriously, but she was strong enough to be a playmate for me. Uh, and based on Veldra's tone, it sounds like she's actually really strong. Sounds like Veldra kind of got folded a little bit, huh? Valentine, Valentine, we saw him. <laughs> Wait, so Val we, Valentine took over for Luminous, but I thought Luminous still exists there. Maybe Luminous doesn't have that body anymore from back then. I don't know. Lu it's got to be Luminous, the person we know, in the trailer as well. I don't fucking know. What's going on? Why is Luminous not acting in charge right now and Valentine's there? What's he reading? What's he reading? 
Daguryu, giant. So we got a female vampire demon lord, and we have a giant demon lord, Daguryu. Tied? Compete? Okay. True, actually remember Daguryu compared to Luminous. This is what, season... Four content? Season 5? Really? You'd win? You've never fought him? Guy Crimson. Okay, Guy Crimson. Okay, so... Luminous, Dagurud or some shit. And Guy Crimson, we know him, right? Who's actually a demon. So a demon lord who's actually a demon. This is interesting, because... You know, in this show, demon lords are basically... Just like... Anyone can become a demon lord, right? And I had the misunderstanding, like, you have to be a demon to become a demon lord. No, no, no. Anyone can become a demon lord. Gee Crimson is a demon that became a demon lord. This is like the first. And your sister's fucking him, bro. <laughs> Even Ramirez says it. All three. Because Milim's, remember, Milim, Ramirez, Gee. Who was there for Milim's true demon lord ceremony thing, right? It's Gee and Ramirez. <laughs> Dino. Slacker? Dino? Luminous? The giant guy? Darugu, whatever? We Gee Crimson and Dino. The Dino, not much about Dino. He just, he just sleeps a lot. That's a cool game. Holy shit. Looks like a fucking Valhalla technique, dude. Oh, it's the maid again! It's the maid from Geek Crimson! Primordial? As strong as Diablo? Primordial? Primordial green? Pr 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 primordial green? Cr primordial black? Primordial green? Green? Does, 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 does such a thing exist? I don't fucking know. Rain. There was another maid too, right? There was another maid. Gi. Why do they call him Gi? Why, why did they pronounce it Gi? Because like, you know, in Naruto, there's a character named Guy. Might Guy. They can pronounce it Guy in that show. But in this show, it's like, nah. It's Gi. It's Gi Crimson. Guy is Guy in French? Is he supposed to be French? I don't know. Waterpurugis! Let's go! This is Shuna's episode from what I remember. Some kind of spiritual battle. Are you guys sure this episode's peak? Ooh. NANI! CGI skeletons! Just do your strength thing, John Smith. Have we ever seen Soei use his swords? Cause like, he's always doing the John Smith thing with the fucking string fingers, you know, the wires. But he does have like two fucking short swords. The, have we ever fucking seen him use it? Does, does it matter? Hey, it's, it's the guy from Overlord, guys, that you guys keep telling me to watch. The skeleton dude. Overlord Tensura collab. Adalman. The White King, huh? Okay. He's talking big. Shuna, do your thing. Shuna, fist fight against Adalman. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Wait, 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 wait. Soe, what did you say? Okay, we gotta beat Adalman. And then Soe is like, I agree. My attack can kill even the dead. Zoe versus Anos, exactly. Just because you killed me, did you think I would die? <laughs> I can kill the dead, though. <laughs> oh, the third eye's out! What the fuck? This random rotting corpse swordsman blocked Hakuro's attack in third eye form? Death Dragon... <sighs> It's like not a true dragon, obviously. Does, is it actually important in lore? Like, dragon lore? Death dragon is a fucking huge in the light novel? 
Looks pretty intimidating. <laughs> again! Again! A dead creature? <laughs> then die. Oh, oh, you're dead already? Then die. <laughs> oh, name technique. I have killed the dead. Good job, Soe. Wow. It has a resistance to death. But I thought it's already dead, bro. And I thought you killed the dead thing. But now the dead thing that you killed apparently has resistance to death. What are we doing right now? What does this mean? I can kill the dead. This dead dragon has death resistance even though I killed it. I... <laughs> Okay, we gotta kill the soul. There we go. Now we're talking. He's about to use a sword. Okay, kill Adalman. Oh? Shuna talking big? Oh? Actually, Shuna hype moments. Shuna is someone that we usually have to protect and stuff and baby, but right now she's like, nah. Shuna development, okay, okay. Alright, she doesn't need hand holding. He actually used the sword there, so eh. What are you here for? Genocide. Shuna's here for genocide. Does she need the guards or does the guards need her? Woo! Alignment field! It's kind of spiritual attack? The fuck? She, she, she actually did what Soe said. I'll kill the dead. Okay, okay. Yo, the Shuna versus Adelman fight's getting really hype. Adelman respects Shuna. What's your name? Do we keep around Adelman like we do in Shiki? In Scheming to Moon Fantasy? Because we're going to win. I will do as you... Does Adelman become like a fucking familiar? Do we, does he literally become Shiki from like Scheming to Moon Fantasy? Does he become like a little mini version? Huh. Huh. <laughs> Oh, she's talking shit right now. You can't break the spell? Oh, uh, mutual respect! Wait, 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 Adamant's respecting Shuna saying it's kinda hard, bro! Okay. We gotta use magic. So many name techniques I never knew she had. What the fuck? Holy Bell just cleanses it? A divine miracle? That's a good question. Gift. It's gotta be the gift, right? Is this maybe, maybe this is all because Shuna got the gift after Rimuru became a true demon lord, right? This is all different. Holy magic. A monster using holy magic. The holy magic that Hinata and the church people can use that fuck us over. Shuna can use it despite being a monster. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, 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 what did you say? You find it strange? <laughs> That's only because you have such a hard head. Get it? Because he's also dumb, but also it's a skeleton. <laughs> Strength of the wish of anyone who believes in miracles and wishes for them. Oh. Holy magic responds to the strength of the wish. And if you believe it... So like, Gopta could use holy magic? If you just like believe in whatever this holy god is, holy magic responds to those that just believe. Just believe, bro. Okay, alright. Betrayed by luminism, the religion, church. If you just believe, you can do it too? Yeah, look at your fucking robe, bro. 
clergy. I wonder how Adama must be so important in season three then, huh? Well, not that important, but maybe he'll have a reference here and there because if he is from Luminism, which I imagine is the fucking religion of Luminous, right? Clergy, church, right? There might be a little bit of references. Maybe he knows about the fucking vampire church people and can give us information about. Oh, still talking shit. <laughs> Shuna's like... Shuna is literally like invigorating and, and making, you know, Adelman have faith again. This is like helping Adelman right now. This isn't even like killing Adelman. All right, just believe, bro. Just believe. Wait, this is like Hinata disintegrate. I don't know. The soundtrack is the same. Look at their respect right now from Adelman to, you know, Shuna. I bear no grudge. I feel grateful. I mean, you don't really have eyes because you're a skeleton right now, but... Lore. Lore. Lord, the demon Lord Kazarim, I cannot take... I feel grateful for her opening my eyes, but you have no eyes, right? Because the curse of the man who bound me here, Kazarim cursed Adelman. Kazarim. Is there potential in the future for Adelman versus Kazarim? Nah. Counter? What is the soundtrack? What the fuck is overdrive? So like, we gotta use this on Hinata next season, man. And the crown is gone. The crown is gone. Honestly, the part that really interested me in this fight was like the lore between Adelman and the, and the church. Adelman, Demon Lord Karazim, the idea of how holy magic even works, and the fact that Disintegrate that Hinata used on Rimuru, that just got countered by Override. So like, could Shuna then teach Rimuru just like, bro, just, just have faith. If you have faith, then like, you can use Override, and then you can counter Hinata. I don't know, would that work? Have faith in what? What is the god that we have faith in, right? Because like at the end of the day, what is faith? You like, believe in a higher being, some kind of god. Who is her god? Is her god Rimuru? I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah. So he's really good at killing things that's dead. Now I like this side of Shuna. We need to see it more. Alright. Let's go to Clayman's Castlevania castle now, finally. Wait, why did he not die? <laughs> and the skeletons are all back. It's Sama. Sama! Malij! They're all cursed. They're, they're all cursed. Yep, they're good people now. Let us follow you. The one that you have placed faith in, the question I asked, who do you believe in? It's gotta be a Rimuru. Also, why the fuck did a skeleton have hair? Bro, there's so many bald characters that we make fun of, and this skeleton right here has fucking hair. That's fucked up. Where did you get this wig? Is this like a new small division for Shuna? You know, the fucking skeleton squad? Uh, Rimuru. Rimuru is your new god now. So then my question about if Rimuru could have faith in a god, she could use override. But who would that god for Rimuru be? What would Rimuru worship? Erif? Edif. Elf? Would he, would he worship an Edif? Raphael? Raphael's just like a sassy fucking AI chatbot that just kind of sasses on us. Is there something meme that he worships? What does Rimuru really like? He used to love like manga shit, right? He had his hard drive, you know, destroyed by the fucking, you know, his friend Tamara because he, he had a bunch of elf porn there, right? Besides, what is he? What would he worship? I don't know. Subarashi! He became so humble. He became so fucking humble, dude. What the fuck? The biggest Rimuru meat rider, dude. Boing! 
ボイン Isn't that she? You're throwing s h e e t at me when you're saying that little boing boing slime is not worth you know, being faithful to be in the worst of the god right now. You, you can come see me, Muru. The flames changed colors to pink. What are we doing here? Are we just fucking up his castle while he's out? <laughs> he's so polite. He's so polite now. Hey, what the fuck is the sound effects, man? Okay, what a Portuguese! Are we early to the party? Ranga and Shion's allowed to be here, huh? Gi. Is is Ramirus being donut walled by Gi Crimson right now? Ramirus is like. And Geek Crimson's like, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to look cool in front of Rimuru right now. Come on. I'm trying to, this is my first time meeting this slime. I'm trying to look cool right now. Leave me alone, Ramirus. What are you doing? Giant? No, he's just tall. This is not a giant, right? This is not a giant. This is just a big dude. This is not the guy that Velder was talking about, right? Is he? He's kind of big. Is he the giant? Bruh, is he that big? Just everyone's just fucking short here. Like, how tall do you think you know this uh, primordial green girl is? Misery. I feel like this is pretty probably like I don't know, okay, five foot eight, five foot seven, maybe five foot seven, right? This dude's like probably like six foot fucking four. I, I, I'd say he's like six foot four, bro. He's like six foot four. Maybe this is a miniature form. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is a miniature form. Get way bigger. Yeah, I can believe. Cause like, think about it. How the fuck could a giant sit on this table, right? So for convenience sakes, maybe he's like condensed. Yeah. And then like later he can get way bigger. That, that would make a lot more sense. Rain? And that's the Valentine behind. Primordial blue? Primordial green? Primordial blue? Misery? Rain? Oh, are, are those their actual name names? Because like, remember what Diablo said? Oh, I have a name before. It's Kuro, right? So I wonder if Misery and Rain are like the equivalent of Kuro, or if they've actually been named by, Dia uh, by Gi, and they have separate names like Misery and Rain, but I'm assuming Primordial blue? Uh, luminous! That's Luminous, right? Whoa, 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 Is that not luminous? Wait, 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 wait. The... Lu you tell me. First time watching, luminous is always here, but I never fucking knew? That's... That's crazy. That's... She just has a maid outfit on, but it's luminous. No, that's luminous. No, no, no. It can't be just a maid. Is that... It? I don't know. Vampire. Vampire. Is it just a random maid? Ah! Ah, fuck you, just to made my ass, just to made my ass. Look at the fucking aura fucking emanating from her, bro. Yeah, stronger. Yeah, yeah. Way more than Valentine. Lurus <laughs> or Midas. This is the first demon lord that Veldora said about, you know, the female demon lord vampire, Luminous. So, so. If she's so old and she's a female vampire demon lord, and she's did she start the church? She has it's called Luminism. So, she, so this vampire female vampire lord decided to create her own cult. She created her own cult. She created her own religion. And then the religion, though, as vampires, she stated that monsters are trash, humans are good. Why? What is the incentive for a vampire to like hunt monsters and and have like a human? Well, is it even like? Is it even human, um, uh, what's the word? Human, uh, fuck. Is it human supremacy? Because all the top brands are vampires. Aren't vampires monsters at the end of the day? Are they not? I feel like, and, and what do vampires prey on? They prey on blood. Presumably human blood. So humans are livestock for them. And... The whole religion exists to maintain this human supremacy because monsters kill humans and we need to preserve our food. Is that what's going on? I don't know. Um, uh, the Dragon Faith, Dragon Faith, Milam. 
Hermes can call Ramirez a little thing? This is Hermes, right? This is Hermes from the Dragon Fate. They're my crate. Is this a separate character? Their designs are similar. Separate character. Separate character? Okay, okay. The casual sleepy guy, not Hermes, Dino. Okay. Dino seems pretty friendly. <laughs> All right, Ramers and Dino have some fun banter going on. Dino seems like a friendly person that we could maybe be in alliance. Yeah, plus Ramers and Dino are friends, so like you know we could probably get in free. Ooh. What she on what? This seems kind of important. She on specifically on this line one. Oh right! I know who this is. I know who this is. Shh. Shh. Yeah. 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 Shh. No, I ain't. No, he, oh, oh, they're gonna say, oh, what happened to Demon or Carry on? Oh, he's dead. What happened to Carry? <laughs> she on caught on though. How does she know so quick? <laughs> oh, this must be Frey immediately fucking ghost down. <laughs> Dreamuru, what the? Is this Dreamuru's eyesight right now? It's like, hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, is, is. Nah, she didn't notice. Who's behind the mask, huh? Hmm, I wonder. Could it mean? That's a smug. Rimuru is so close. Rimuru is so close. <laughs> Fuck it, idiot. I'm out. Finally, we meet the guy who we thought might be the endgame villain in season one, right? Jesus Revenge. Yeah. I don't think Leon's a bad guy, though, man. <laughs> Relax, bro. Punch. Start one. <laughs> hmm. He's sounding pretty reasonable right now. Dude, he's a fucking debate lord. I'm just starting to realize Leon Cromwell is an absolute fucking debate lord. Bro is a fucking professional debate lord that's never lost a battle on Reddit. He just completely just destroyed Rimuru with facts and logic. Oh, invitation to the castle! When is that gonna happen? You threatening? You threatening? What do you, what do you mean? Our Mabudachi. Fuck you! Fuck you, Clayman! How, how are you so stupid that you would do this in front of everybody here? Like, like you've got to be the dumbest motherfucker to like know that other demon lords love Milim, and then you're gonna do this like in front of the every other demon lord. Why? For clout? Wouldn't you think that this is gonna make them feel more hostile towards you? Like this makes it such like th this just works against him. But in his head, he's like, oh. Look how strong I am. I can control Demon Lord Milan like that. But it's like, bro, everyone knows that she's being fucking controlled or some shit. Why would you do this? Like, you think this is flexing to other people? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's thumbnail. That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail. Yup. Yup. And that's the episode. Man, today's episode was lit. From what I remember, I, I, cause like first time watching, I think a lot of people on my first channel, like like two years ago, they were like, oh, the Shuna fight's kind of boring and whatnot. And kind of like, that's the memory I had, but no. There was a lot. There was a lot of good content coming from Adelman, lore about the church, and even before the Adelman and Shuna stuff, we learned about more of the demon lords from Veldora, and then that goes into Waterpurgis, and hey, we learned about holy magic and stuff like that. Maybe there's a word to counter, you know, disintegr- Oh, that's a verb. Dis <laughs> excuse me. Disintegrate if possible in season three, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We're getting right into the Waterpurgis, so the next couple episodes, it's gonna be peak, 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 but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.